Energy communities are one of the tools that the EU sees as an opportunity to drive the green transition regionally. Local energy communities involve citizens and public and private actors who both produce, sell and consume sustainable energy. The sustainable energy is shared within the community and can also be sold to the grid. Examples of this could be the collective purchase of solar cells by all the people living on a residential street. Or a group of friends investing in a wind turbine and selling the renewable energy to the grid or other consumers living nearby. Think of it as an association. You do not necessarily have to live in the same area, just share common values and interests. Energy communities are a disruptive market construction that allows citizens to change the way they consume, produce, sell and store renewable energy. In order for communities to be able to trade energy, you need digital systems for counting, negotiation and communication. So you were telling me about preferences. How At the Technical University of Denmark, we work to define market mechanisms and algorithms that yeah. can be a tool to match preferences. For example, a consumer preference could be, I want to pay three kroner for one kilowatt hour of locally produced wind energy and 1.5 kroner for one kilowatt hour of electricity from the grid, wherever it comes from. Similarly, sellers can have such preferences. An anthropological study from 2019 shows that residents of Nordhaun in Copenhagen find energy communities alluring. The residents feel like a group of pioneers, front-runners of the green transition. The social value is important for the residents. This is a good outset for establishing energy communities. However, they aren't sure about how to organize, administrate and operate the technical systems. They suggest that an independent actor, together with the citizens, should be responsible for establishing and operating the energy community. Today, energy communities face legal and commercial barriers. But new EU directives will make energy communities possible in a near future. The Nordic countries want to be leaders in the green transition. To reach that position, we Nordic countries must choose an ambitious approach to energy communities. Remove the legal barriers, no bureaucratic procedures and fair tariffs. 